What's up everyone, it's Hey John and I Jabber Opportunities Nonstop. And today I want to discuss Safu and the Certic egregious behavior. Yes, I said egregious because, well, let's just go ahead and get into it. Have you ever been to Reddit, a Discord or a Telegram and you're trying to find real information but you aren't able to find it? Well, come over to reddit.com truth or a profit because this is where you can get real truthful information from the people and you can ask questions and you will get answered and most importantly we want to come here to share our stories so we can know which crypto landmines to avoid and which crypto gems to jump into so come join us and use this community as a resource in your cryptocurrency journey seifu one the heck just happened well too long didn't read sir tick is a s-c-a-m a scam and let me show you why because i'm seeing some very very egregious behavior in my opinion and obviously you guys can leave a comment down below if you agree disagree whatever leave a comment down below though okay folks certic alert community alert Certex highly skilled kyc and fraud investigation teams have delisted the safe protocol project due to high-risk indicators concerning the Safu owner team affiliation with previous high-risk projects. We advise against interacting with this project. Scroll up here. Check this out. This is ridiculous. Certic alert. Community alert. The project at Casio app has experienced an infinite, infinite mint glitch has lost $50 million at Casio app is recommending you not mint any cash and you withdraw your funds from the pool. Be careful out there. And look at them. All they get is a warning. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see the problem here? We're seeing Certic saying, hey, Casio app, you have just lost 50 million. Yes, was an M, $50 million. And all you get is a warning. Are you serious? And now we're seeing Safu getting delisted for high risk previous token activity. With that being said, I think this is a very ridiculous. And when it comes to Safu, they don't give any quote unquote details. They just say, hey guys, watch out for high risk activity. Well, you know what? I've done the research for you, okay? So essentially the previous two projects that Brian was involved in, Clever and some exchange, well, ladies and gentlemen, you're confusing a rug pool and a failed business venture, okay? Keyword being failed business venture. Yes, believe it or not, Brian can fail. Failing is not a rug pull. We see it every day with businesses. You see a new startup, whether it be a restaurant, a new retail store, and guess what? These individual owners, they go belly up sometimes. But if we see that same owner open up a new retail shop in a different part of town, are we going to say, hey, you're a rug puller? Um, Probably not because a failed business is not a rug pull. It just means bad decisions were made. Now, my biggest gripe here with Certic is that they would give details about someone else saying, hey, you lost $50 million and all you get is a warning. $50 million is more than most market caps that Certic audits. We have seen other tokens that Certic has audited and it still becomes a rug pull and they are under $50 million. So this is not a dig at Casio app. I don't really care about them. What I'm saying here is that this is ridiculous. $50 million lost and that does not constitute a delisting. That is egregious, folks. Egregious. But again... With Safu, they don't give any details. They give you a vague and general statement. They don't list any details saying, hey, this is the previous name. This is the wrongdoing, blah, blah, blah. They just say, nope, goodbye. And I find that very, very, very strange because usually in an audit in larger corporations, when you have an issue or a question, you go back to the owner and you go back to the person who paid you and say, hey, I'm looking at your accounting books and what does this mean? I can't figure it out. Can you show me the process as to how you got there? But no, Sir Tech decided to come out and say, 
you know what? Delisted, you're done, goodbye, vamos, you're a fraud. And I'm just baffled by this. What kind of a company acts like this? Like I said, folks, I've been around in corporate America and I'm telling you, big auditing firms such as Deloitte and many others, well, they don't do that. They go back and ask a source and say, hey, please explain this. This is a red flag. I don't know what it means. And they give you a chance to go back and figure it out. Say, okay, you know what? I'll give you a few days. Bring back your supporting documentation. Keyword being supporting documentation to prove how you got to this particular conclusion. Now, I'm not seeing Certic do that. They're just saying, boom, delisted. And Certic, let's be honest. When you came out and threw out this Twitter statement, you knew, you knew, you knew, don't even pretend, you knew that this would be very harmful for the SAFU holders. So I want to go ahead and read some of the statements you guys are saying because you guys are saying it so well, I'm not even going to try to take credit for it. I'm going to read it exactly by verbatim here. Lord Crypto says, relax about Certic, guys. Look, check for yourself how many projects are onboarding or done with Certic audit and the devs rug pulled after that. Tons of them out there. Certic is not a guarantee. Transparency of the owner of a project is a key to succeed. Number one, Brian doing AMA two to three times a week now and he KYC himself five times. Number two, staff with liquidity is growing. Number three, holders are growing. Number four, fire pit is growing. Number five, massive marketing is running. Number six, Brian knew Pink Cell kept dumping Safu and he bought all their Safu yesterday. What's not bullish about this? Raula says, you don't seem to understand the role of an audit company is to provide independent assessment of a project. In this case, they issued a scam alert without assessing the project and then delisted it from the site. That's no different to a financial auditor issuing a bad audit review statement without actually looking at the books of a company and doing actual due diligence. It's defamatory at a minimum and misleading at best. Speaking from the perspective of a security professional, it's absolutely astonishing to me to see an application security company drag a paying customer's name through the mud with zero context and zero evidence of prior rugging, then expect zero consequences for doing so. If Brian scammed his prior projects, there would be evidence of this. However, I've seen zero accusation providing any solid evidence that he in fact performed nefarious actions, stole funds, or rugged. The fact that Certic isn't going to continue doing the security audit for the defined scope of work is criminal. Safu Boris Animo. In every single audit they made, the findings were first brought to the owner and were gone over them with him. Today, Certic posted a flimsy finding in an attempt to undermine the project yet again. Every aspect of the behavior is aimed towards bringing Safu down and now they confirmed it. Do not let them get away with it. Defend your profits. Denny at Certex says, Hi, Brian. Seems our management are aware of the situation and also notified me that we decided not to move forward with your audit and will issue a refund of $25,000 to you. Please provide your address of receiving USDT so our finance team will arrange the refund. Brian says, I expect a full apology from Certic written and communicate on your website and across all social media. Only then will I, on behalf of the SAFU community, accept a refund. FYI, look at the crap you are tweeting and childish behavior of your staff. Like I said, full written apology including across social media and refund or I definitely commence legal action for market manipulation, defamation of character, and investment fraud. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the CEO you are putting your money behind. That's what I did, and that's what you have done and are doing if you are still invested in Seifu. This gives me nothing but confidence in the leadership in terms of how far and what they will do to protect the Seifu holders. Now, I do want to say thank you very much to Sartek. Hey, John, are you crazy? Why would you say that? Well, the reason why I want to thank you is because I didn't think that it would be possible to get such an amazing dip buying opportunity. All I know is that I believe in Brian so much that when I saw a dip yesterday, 
I bought 7K worth at around $155. I mean, was it the best? No. 130 was a better price, but honestly, it's fine. I'm very glad I got that price and currently it's fine with me because my Safu babies are making more babies and understand that every time Brian goes to a new exchange or a new partnership with SafeMoon, with BidKeep, well, guess what, folks? Every single freaking time he goes to different exchanges and different partnerships, he has to KYC each and every time. Surtech is not the end all and they aren't everything. Surtech is not a guarantee of a rug pull. There are so many tokens that they have listed and audited and they still rug pull and they're still there. So with that being said, who cares about Sartic? The best way for you guys to support the channel is by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Get $250 in Bitcoin using my BlockFi link down below in the description. Get $25 in Kronos using my Crypto.com referral code. Get five free stocks courtesy of Weeble using my link down below and create an account and depositing one cent or even one dollar and you will get five free stocks valued up to $8,000. And most importantly, have an awesome day and I will catch you all on the next one.